Sometimes skyscraper concepts cross the line from ambitious to completely unbelievable. Today, we're diving into the biggest mega towers ever proposed, deemed too extreme to reach completion. We'll look at the skyscraper meant to make the Empire State Building look small. The developers who swore they could build the world's tallest tower in just 90 days. And the mind-bending structure so tall it required a vertical bullet train as its elevator. Number three, Sky City, China. In 2012, a Chinese construction firm made a bold announcement to the world with absolute confidence. Not only would they build the tallest skyscraper in the world, they would do so in just 90 days. Not nine years, 90 days. The tower, called Sky City, was planned at 838 meters, a full 10 meters taller than the Burj Khalifa, which took six years to construct. So how did they expect to build it so fast? Prefabrication. According to the developers, most of the building would be assembled in factories and then stacked on site like architectural Lego bricks. It was modular construction taken to an extreme no one had ever seen before. The plans called for 220 floors, housing for 30,000 people, earthquake resistance up to magnitude 9, triple glazed exterior walls, and construction costs far lower than traditional skyscrapers. If true, this would have changed the entire housing industry overnight. Construction was supposed to begin in November 2012, but November passed, then December, then January. Soon, journalists began calling the company for updates, and suddenly the once very talkative developers weren't talking at all. By 2015, the future tallest building in the world was nothing but a giant flooded pit. Locals turned it into fish farms and watermelon fields, using the access roads meant for construction to transport crops instead of materials. Sky City went from global fascination to a quiet disappearance. Number two, the Illinois. Long before Burj Khalifa, long before super tall or mega tall buildings, and decades before computing or advanced wind modeling, there was Frank Lloyd Wright. And he had a skyscraper idea so radical that even now, almost 70 years later, it feels unbelievable. In 1956, Wright proposed the Illinois, a mile-high skyscraper reaching 1.6 kilometers into the sky with 528 floors and 76 elevators. To prevent elevator congestion, Wright even suggested building landing pads for over 100 helicopters. He envisioned a building that wasn't in a city, but a building that was a city, complete with residences, offices, hotels, and entertainment. Most developers dismissed it as fantasy, but hidden in the design was something important. A three-lobe structural system inspired by the root structure of tall trees. This concept, a central triangular core tapering upwards, eventually influenced the structural system used in the Burj Khalifa decades later. Wright never lived to see super-tall skyscrapers become reality, but in a way, part of his imagination did. Number one. Dubai City Tower. Finally, we arrive at what may be the most extreme skyscraper concept ever proposed. Dubai City Tower, a vertical metropolis planned at 2,400 meters tall, nearly three times the height of the Burj Khalifa. To put that into perspective, if you stacked seven Eiffel Towers on top of each other, you'd still be short. At this height, normal elevators wouldn't work. So the designers proposed using vertical bullet trains that would travel at 200 kilometers per hour inside the tower's core. The building was structured as a series of stacked neighborhoods, each 100 floors tall. Several external support towers would twist around the main structure, acting as wind buffers to protect the central spine. Dubai City Tower was announced in 2009 and then disappeared without a trace. No official cancellation, no updates, no explanation, just silence. Most experts believe the project was doomed by cost, engineering challenges, and the financial crash of 2008 to 2010. Others think it was simply a branding exercise, a statement that Dubai planned to remain the world capital of architectural ambition. Either way, the tower exists only in drawings and renderings, 
a monument to what might have been. So which of these unreal megastructures would you want to see built? The prefabricated giant in China, the innovative Illinois design that lead to the Burj Khalifa, or the mile-high tree-inspired tower in Dubai, designed decades ahead of its time? Let us know in the comments. If you enjoyed this deep dive into skyscrapers that never made it off the blueprint, make sure to like the video and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.